Hi there Lexus owners. Today in your 2018 Lexus RX 350, we're gonna be taking a look at and showing you how to install Kurt's Class 3 two-inch trailer hitch receiver. Whether you're wanting to slide this accessories in here, such as bike racks or cargo carriers, it's gonna be a great option. Or if you're wanting to get a little bit of work done, maybe with a utility trailer, or maybe bring a camper or a jet ski with you for the weekend, you should be able to do this as well with this hitch. This hitch uses a 5 8 inch hitch pin and clip. Now one doesn't come included with the hitch, but we've got plenty available here at eTrailer. I would also recommend getting a locking one to protect your investments that you use inside of your hitch. On bottom, we have hoop style safety chain loops. And these have a very large opening that should accommodate just about every shape, size, and style of safety chain. You can see our big one had no problem in there. Slid right in with ease. This hitch offers a 600 pound tongue weight, which is the force going down on top of our receiver. And that's gonna be enough for a four bike platform rack fully loaded up with four bikes. And it's also enough for the largest cargo carrier available here at eTrailer fully loaded up to the max. It also offers a 4,000 pound gross towing capacity, which is how much that it can pull behind it. And that should be enough for like a pop-up camper, maybe even some smaller campers, as well as maybe a small boat or a jet ski as well. This hitch is rated for use with a weight distribution system. So when using one, your tongue weight will stay at 600 pounds, but the gross towing capacity is going to increase to 5,000 pounds. A weight distribution system will take the weight that's pushing down here on the back of your vehicle and help transfer that weight back onto the front axle to level it back out, restoring lost braking and handling performance. We've got a lot of different weight distribution systems available here at eTrailer. So you can look through the various ones to find the best one that's gonna work for your particular vehicle and trailer combination. Now I've got some measurements for you when to help you in deciding on accessories. From the center of our hitch pin hole to the edge of our rear bumper, we're right at about five inches. This is important when determining if your accessories will contact the bumper when inserted and if they can be placed in the upright storage position without contacting the bumper. And from the ground to the top inside edge of our receiver tube, we're measuring right at about 15 and 3 quarter inches. This is important when determining if you need to drop, arise, or a raise shank on any of your accessories. Now that we've covered some of the features of our hitch, why don't you follow along with us in the shop and we'll show you how to get it installed. This is an extremely easy hitch. You should have no problem getting this installed in your driveway in less than about 15 minutes. We'll begin our installation at the back of our vehicle underneath on the passenger side. Your tow hook is gonna be located here on the frame rail and there'll be two bolts that hold it in. We'll use a 17 millimeter socket to remove these two bolts. After removing your tow hook, you can go ahead and just put this in your vehicle. We're not going to be reinstalling it. Just forward of where our tow hook was, you'll find a rubber grommet. We're just gonna pop that out with our screwdriver. And then just in front of that, this one's a plastic grommet and these ones thread out of here. So we'll use our flat screwdriver for those as well. And then if we hop over to the other side of the frame rail, we're gonna have very similar plugs in here, so we're just gonna get all of these removed. There's a total of five over here on the driver's side. We now wanna just make sure that our weld nuts are cleaned out. You're gonna have three weld nuts on each side. We're gonna use a little bit of rust penetrant right up into those holes and then we'll take a bristled brush to get out any dirt debris corrosion or anything else in there that might hinder getting our hardware into place nice and easily we'll do this on the other side of the vehicle as well if you need a small bristled brush like this we sell them here at eTrailer now we've got our weld nuts cleaned out before we lift the hitch up you're also going to have some goo kind of here at the back that can really make it difficult to get your hitch into position because of all this in the way so we're just gonna take a razor knife and we're just gonna trim some of this off of here, right here. And that will allow us to more easily get our hitch into position. Cause that really does make a big difference in how easy it is to get that, get your hardware installed. At this point now, we can pretty much ready to lift our hitch into position. So I recommend before we do that, take your hardware and place a conical tooth washer on it with the teeth facing away from the head of the bolt. We'll prepare three, th three of these for each side. And having those prepared will make your life a lot easier when you go to put this hitch up there. You can just grab that hardware and put it into place. So now we're gonna grab our hitch. We're gonna go over our exhaust. 
We can then just line up the holes in the hitch with the weld nuts and the frame. We're just gonna get one started on each side and that will make it easier to install the rest of our hardware because these two bolts will be enough to hold the hitch up there in place. Once we've got the hitch held up there, we'll just grab the rest of those bolts and just thread them in to the appropriate weld nut that each of the holes in the hitch line up with. We can now take a 19 millimeter socket and go back and tighten down all of our hardware. We can then go back and torque our hardware to the specifications outlined in our instructions. And that completes our installation of Kurt's Class 3 2-inch trailer hitch receiver on our 2018 Lexus RX 350.